Hello! Today I'm going to talk to you about creating a Blackboard assignment. Blackboard assignments allow students to submit their work directly through Blackboard, making it easy to collect homework submissions. To begin, you'll need to enter into your Blackboard site. Once in the site, select the content area where you would like to build the assignment. Click on the Assessments button, and then select Assignment. This brings us to the assignment creation page. The first thing you'll need to do is enter in a name for the assignment. Optionally, you can enter in any instructions that you may have for students in the instructions box. If you have any assignment files that you would like to attach, go ahead and click the Browse My Computer button to locate the files. The next section deals with grading. When you create a Blackboard assignment, all submissions are automatically stored in the Grade Center. Because of this, Blackboard requires that you enter in a points possible value. Go ahead and enter in that value in the points possible box. If you are just using this assignment for collection purposes, you can go ahead and enter in zero points. You also have the option to attach a Blackboard rubric to this assignment. This eases the grading process and allows you to create a standardized grading experience for all graders within the course. For more information on rubrics in Blackboard, you can go ahead and view our rubrics tutorial video by clicking on the link in the description box below. The largest section of creating a Blackboard assignment is the availability section. This is where you decide if the assignment should be made available and how many attempts each student should have. By default, you want to keep the Make the Assignment Available checkbox selected. This makes sure that students can access the link when it's made available to them. The next section lets you decide how many attempts a student should have for an assignment. A single attempt allows a student to upload a paper once. Allowing unlimited attempts or multiple attempts lets them submit more than once to that assignment. This is particularly helpful if a student accidentally submits the wrong paper or if you're looking to set up drafts for an assignment. When you select unlimited attempts or multiple attempts, you will also be given the option to decide what score to use when grading the assignment. You can select that choice in the score attempts using Dropbox shown here. Finally, you have some availability dates that you can set for the assignment. When you set these dates, students will only be able to see the assignment within the range entered. For example, if you want something to display after New Year's, you can go ahead and set that in the Display After box. This means that although the assignment has been created, students will not see it or have access to submit until that date. Down below the availability settings, we have the Due Date option. A due date in Blackboard simply lets students know when the assignment is due. This date will show up on their Blackboard calendar and will be reflected in the Grade Center if they submit past the due date marked here. Selecting a due date will not prevent students from submitting past this date. It will simply mark their attempt as late. Finally, the last option we have is the recipient setting. You have the option of making this assignment available to all students in the course or to a specific group of students in the course. Typically, each student should be submitting an assignment, so I'm going to go ahead and keep all students individually selected. Finally, you can go ahead and click Submit to save the assignment. Once the assignment has been submitted, you'll see that it now displays in your content area. In order for students to submit, they simply enter into the content area and click on the name of the assignment. That concludes this video about creating assignments in Blackboard. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact the Help Desk at 368HELP or at help.case.edu. Thanks for watching!